Hey everybody, it's Coffee with me. Frank and Alice's discussion about whatever I want to talk about in the morning. Why did they keep making Death Wish films? And why did they all have to be so freaking dark? Like, uh, and especially towards female characters. If you're a woman in a Death Wish film, you're not gonna have a good time. You're just not. You exist only to be assaulted and then be avenged by Charles Bronson. That's your only reason for existing in Death Wish. Yeah. I think there were five of those films, actually. Once again, why? Ugh. I was a conscientious objector. Was that my best, Bronson? You'll get yours. Hmm. I don't know. I think in like the third film, they introduced a gun that could take any caliber bullet or something. Mm. Yeah. The bad guys in the third film were just weirdly camp for all the horror they've done. It's weird. I think the first one's the only one that you can really consider a good film. The second one, it's like, you know, did the daughter really need to die after all that she went through? So unnecessary. Oof. Just to make Charles Bronson pissed off and then have him go on a murder rampage again? Hmm. <sighs> Then you got the bigger question of like how like those like uh, movies glorify vigilantism. You could say the same thing about the Punisher. It, mm. well, we, we would like to think that in a real world, that, that in a perfect world, people would be going after the like the violent gangs and assaulters out there. But almost more often than not, vigilantes are just you know racist, crazy people who just want to kill, have an excuse to kill black people. <sighs> yeah. It's important to have the idealized reality, but Bernie Gates was a killer, okay? Yeah. Let's not glorify the guy. Hmm. Don't get me wrong, Death Wish 1 was definitely a good film, but why did it go on that long, that franchise? Like. <sighs> The Rocky movies, all of them made more sense than, like, more than one Death Wish movie. Yeah. Yeah. He's in Rocky... F uh, maybe not Rocky 4. Yeah, I will justify Rocky 5 over Rocky 4. Just on the premise that Apollo didn't need to die. That was stupid. Hmm. Not necessary. Especially after he straight up trained Rocky in the previous film. Ding, ding. Yeah, you know? Yeah. Didn't care for Rocky 4 or 5. Well, I, I... Was Rocky 5 actually that bad? There wasn't a big fight at the end, but it was kind of more like an anti-Rocky film. And I felt that there was merit to that. You know? What is his life without boxing, you know? Like, how does he move on? Does he just, like, open up a gym and whatnot? Have his brother-in-law sell stupid merchandise? <laughs> yeah. And, yeah. Huh. The fight in Rocky IV was good, but yeah. I think I only saw First Blood. The first Rambo film? I'm not sure I've seen any others. I might have seen them, but I'm not sure. They just won't stop sending him back to jungles. Mm-mm. No. 
I feel in that regard, it kind of misses the point of the first film, where it's like, it's a metaphor for how people treated, like, veterans of, what was it, the Vietnam War, or the, yeah, the Vietnam War, and how we basically just goad them into, like, being their worst selves. Pretty good. Good, yeah. And then after that, it was just action film, action film, action film. <sighs> I don't know. I do not know. Charles Bronson and Sylvester Stallone movies. That's the subject of this episode. I usually talk about cartoons and comics and video games, but hey, it's good to mix it up. Either way. I hope you have a morning, and I hope I clear up my acne.